is the uh, height of the triangle altitude of the triangle f is the shear force basic parameter but the value of i it is the moment of inertia this moment of inertia which is related with directly with the base width as well as the altitude hence we know the value i moment of inertia about neutral axis is b h square by 36 about neutral axis because if you want to take from the base the value of i goes changes that is b h cube by 12 b h square by 12 but we have to interest about the neutral axis so i is equal to b h square by 36 by placing the value of i in this simple fundamental equation tau is equal to 2 by 27 multiplied by f h square divided by i that is b h square by 36 we got tau maximum is equal to 8 by 3 into f by b h number 2 8 by 3 into f by b h now maximum shear stress uh, let us we found out this maximum shear stress correlated with the average shear stress the shear stress of any depth x from the top is given by an equation tau is equal to f by 3 i bracket x h minus x square the maximum shear stress will be obtained by differentiating the equation number 1 with respect to x and equating to 0 because we up till now what happens the maximum shear stress will be found out for all the cases at the neutral axis triangular section which is deviated from the other section and we found out the maximum shear stress is at the other place than that of the neutral axis and our intention is to found out that location what will be the location where the maximum shear stress will be developed so the maximum shear stress will be obtained by differentiating the equation basic fundamental equation number one that is f by 3i bracket x h minus x square with respect to x and equating with the zero so tau we obtain d by dx that is differentiation of an equation which is equated with the zero we got f by 3i bracket h minus 2x is equal to zero hence by simplifying the term two things are zero product a into b is equal to zero either a is zero either b is zero but f by 3i is non zero Hence, only the thing which is remaining is h minus 2x is equal to 0 and we found out the x is equal to h by 2. It means that, it means that the maximum shear stress will be take care at height, half a height of that triangle. So, by substituting this value in equation number 1, that is tau max, we got it f by 3i bracket h by 2 into h that is x h minus x square that is h by 2 square simplify once again we got f h square by 12 i let us put i is equal to b h square by 36 because moment of inertia of triangular section about neutral axis is b h square by 36 by placing all these things we found out tau maximum is equal to 3 f by b h hence the shear stress distribution diagram which can be plotted which is shown over here carefully visualized 0 which is at the apex 0 at the bottom fibers so there will be a certain value at the neutral axis but it is not maximum 
this interesting point which has been noted down for a triangular section only you cannot apply this rule to all other section because for all other section that we already been found out that maximum shear stress which will be taken care at neutral axis exceptional case triangle where maximum shear stress will be found out at height h by 2 from the apex or from the bottom part half of the height <laughs> now let us be understood this fundamentals related with the triangular section by solving certain one simple single numerical please read for the data <laughs> The data which is like over here. A uh, beam of triangular section is subjected to a shear force of 50 kN. The height of the section is 200 mm, base width 250 mm. Beam is placed with its horizontal determine maximum shear stress and shear stress at neutral axis first of all by through the data triangular section which has been given to us uh, the height of the section that is altitude edge is 200 mm base width which has been given b is 250 mm the section subjected with the shear force of 50 kilo newton that is 50,000 newton intention is to determine maximum shear stress and shear stress at neutral axis now the maximum shear stress is given by an equation tau is equal to 3f by bh that we have already been derived up till now in the particular lecture so tau maximum is equal to 3 into f that is 50,000 divide by bh b base width h altitude 250 into 200 we got it is 3 newton per mm square shear stress at neutral axis is given by 8 by 3 divide into f by bh so 8 by 3 into 50,000 divided by bh 215 to 200 we got it is as 2.67 newton per mm square clearly visualize that the shear stress at neutral axis is lesser than the shear stress at the half height of the given triangular section so this figure clearly indicated that the maximum shear stress observed at the h by 2 distance from the top or bottom of the triangle section while there will be a certain value which is available at the neutral axis which is lesser than this value Now, next part. Beam having a square section with one diagonal as horizontal. <laughs> Draw the shear stress distribution diagram for a beam of a square section with one diagonal is horizontal. The beam is subjected to shear force F at a section. Please refer the figure. Figure here shows a square beam section A, B, C, D having a diagonal AC is horizontal. Intention is to find out the variation of shear stress in this particular section. Now, today we would like to give you certain hint and then try to resolve by yourself. Here, 
it has been carefully noted that up till now what happens for a given square section one of the base which is horizontal here ac is horizontal that is one of the diagonal is horizontal so we have to take a section with respect to that ac layer that is about neutral axis we have to found out the variation of shear stress each layer and then we have to draw the diagram so now let us be revise what we did up till now in the today's session in the today's session we have solved certain numericals related to the unsymmetrical i section we have understood how the variation of the shear stress which has been taken care for triangular section i wish you have obtained the fundamentals please read the chapter carefully at your room find difficulty ask the questions so we will meet next time thank you